Okay, I'm going to do a little uh, audio and video of a Chase Tone product. It's a buffer for a wah. Um, so if you're serious about uh, having a silicon fuzz face rather than a germanium, um, you're going to have some issues if you're playing through a stock uh, uh, King Box, uh, Vox wah, or Crybaby wah. Um, and the issues you'll have is um, you'll get a lot of squeal and noise and oscillation uh, from a silicon based fuzz face than you would a germanium. Um, so I'm going to do a little demo here and you can you can tell uh, by all the noise this thing's going to make. Um, so if you're sold on a uh, silicon fuzz, uh, you probably want to try to get one of these buffers installed because uh, it just won't interact with the wah right. And uh, you know this the signal chain Hendrix used was uh, basically guitar wah uh, Octavia fuzz face univibe and then how to his amps. Um, so if you put it in that order, uh, you'll see that this thing's just going to squeal. And um, I've tried, uh, you know, put in the fuzz in front of the wah, uh, but it just it doesn't interact the way it's supposed to. So uh, what I have here is I have uh, uh, King Voxwa that Kyle over at Chase Stone installed in an old King Voxwa. And then I have another wa over here. Uh, that's a genuine Clyde McCoy from the 60s. That's all stocked except for a true bypass switch because uh, um, wahs tend to be uh, tone suckers. So, um, and then the blue, the blue fuzz face down there is basically, is really just a Dunlap um, with the silicone version of the new Hendrix. Well, I took the guts out of that and installed it in the gray box there. And then I built my own circuit that has Jimi Hendrix uh, 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 mods in it into the other one. So that's a germanium, germanium fuzz in the blue one, and the silicon's the, the silver one. So uh, I'll hook this up and you'll see the kind of noise and stuff it makes and how much. Okay, first up is the uh, uh, germanium fuzz uh, with the Clyde McCoy. <laughs> the king box with the germanium <laughs> now there is two completely different circuits um, in those was um, so it's kind of hard to can do a com comparison that way uh, they both sound great. You don't lose any tone uh, in the King Box with the uh, buffer. Now we'll do the germanium. All right, we'll do the uh, silicon with the uh, uh, original uh, Clyde McCoy. Sounds pretty good in the treble position, but as soon as you back off, uh, you get a squeal. Okay, here's the King Box uh, with the buffer from Chase Stone. So no buzz, no oscillation, no noise, and you don't lose the tone. Versus a stop. So if you're sold on the uh, the higher gain uh, silicon fuzz um, and you're incorporating the Y, you might want to check this out. Uh, Kyle is a great guy. I've done a little bit of dealing with him. Um, check out his website. I haven't uh, I haven't had the chance to uh, 
play through one of his fuzz facers or Roz, but uh, they sound incredible, and he's got a huge uh, reputation out there. So check it out. Thank you.